All right, I know you guys look up to me as an expert in Vim. However, there's some things that I'm embarrassed to admit I did not know about Vim for the longest time. I'm gonna share those things that I didn't know with you now. You might learn something or you might just laugh at me because I, I didn't know them. <laughs> I'm really embarrassed to be making this one, guys, so be thankful. Let's get to it. I have here a copy of Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. A callback to my very first video, if, if, you, if you're a long-time follower of the channel. But so, the first one I want to talk about that is really, really useful is uh, GI. It's go to the place last inserted. So if I start doing something, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. if I insert some text there, if I go to the top, let's say, uh, this is a Python document, and I go to the top and I'm like, import blah from by, yeah? And I'm like, oh no, I want to go back to where I last inserted, and I don't have to want to scroll down. You know, you just type G. And then semicolon. I'm right there. Okay, because I last inserted there. Uh, that makes sense. But then you can just type that again and you jump forward. There you go. Or I can go GI, which automatically puts me in insert mode there. I should turn on the screen key. Proper, proper Smith Wars now. So I'm jumping down there. So these are all the places I've edited. Forward, backwards. If I just want to insert in the last place I edited, GI, it'll jump me to where we did it. Okay. That is really, really useful, especially if you need to like make an edit or something up here. I don't need to tell you why it's useful, it just is. A big one, I never used to use, I to escape, I don't actually press the escape key, right? You see I'm pressing it now. I used to only press escape, but now I've converted. I actually press this, I press control and left square bracket like that. The reason I do that is it's, it's easier on the keyboard for me. I'm sure you'd know this, but to press escape, you have to like, oh! Oh, to hike. So if I'm on the home row here, right, to press escape, I need to like reach up and press like that. But to press control left bracket, I just do that. So it's like a, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But it's an easier movement, even though it's more key presses. It feels more natural. And I also didn't know how to move paragraphs, right? Really, really bad. You can jump paragraphs by using these. Like, look, you see, I'm jumping over. I used to just navigate lines, right? So if I wanted to go to the top of this, I'd just type, let me make this bigger. I wanted to go to the top of this, I'd just go 7k like that to jump seven lines up, which I talked about in my other Vim video, but now you just jump paragraphs, it's so much easier. And so let's say I want to change this line here, and everything between the, the asterisks, right? You know, I can, you, you obviously, how I do this is change to asterisks, right? Which is the normal way to do it, but as a demonstration, so I want to change to the E in, in Shakespeare, right? I want to change up to here. Uh, and I can't do that with CT, so I go C slash to start a search and then type P-E-A-R-E. -E. Now that'll change everything up to that, and then you can see I'm in insert mode. So you can use the change, you can use yank, you can use delete, all with search functions too. So delete first, we'll delete everything up to first. Y, D and C and probably some other verb commands can all be used with slash to search and do your action up to the thing you're trying to do. Also, embarrassingly enough, didn't know this one. Uh, let's say you want to search for Caesar. Normally I type in uh, Caesar like that and you'd be able to search for them. But I didn't know this embarrassingly enough that you can just type asterisks and it will put the word that your cursor's on in the search and go to the next instance of it and we can obviously keep doing this. Uh, asterisk is to go forward, and then you can press hash as well, and you'll go back. Look at that, very cool. So if we search for all of thou upwards, we want it. We want to press hash, there we go. If we want to search for it downwards, we press asterisk and we go down. See, I'm going down through the, if you look in the bottom right, I'm going down through the file. If I press hash, I'm going up. Another one that's probably not too, too important, but it is cool. So you can make anything uppercase just by pressing, uh, like, the tilde. You can switch case, you see there, I'm... It's actually changing the case of the word as I go through. Uh, but I've kind of messed that up. If I just want to change all this word to lowercase first, you know, I can go G U W. Or I could go like G U end of the line. And it'll change the whole thing to lowercase. But then I want to change the W. Obviously, it's his name, so it's capital. I just press tilde. So if this is lowercase like that, if I want to change it normally without that, I go, I press R and I. In, so replace the word of the capital, which is two keystrokes, and this is only one. Very cool. Right, if there's a number here, if I want to increase this number, I, you can press uh, Control A, and it just ups the number. Look at that, and it even works like with the hundreds. It is really cool. 
But yeah, so I can increase and I can decrease numbers with Control A and Control X. A really useful one that I also didn't know. Let's say I'm on this line here, but I want this line to be at the top. So I want to scroll down basically. I can press Z, uh, T, and then you see that line's near the top. Uh, and I can press Z, Z, and it'll center that line. Uh, another useful one, which I did know, but I'll just point it out now. I can press Control U and Control J D, and it does like half a page down or half a page up. So this is how I mainly scroll. I don't use the page down key. So you see I'm pressing Control D to go down, Control U, and that's only half a page. So I find that better than the whole page, which is what the page down key does. Those are some quick Vim tips from your boy that I'm embarrassed that I didn't know about. Uh, so you might have already known, you might have not. If you learned something, I'm happy for you. Good. Uh, I'll do more Vim videos in the future on other commands and maybe go back to basics because going back to basics also helps me learn. So yes, subscribe and stay tuned for that. Smash the like button for more videos. Uh, if you, if this video gets, uh, five likes, I'll be happy. Bye, lots of love.